At the age of 89, Mr. Blackman was dismissed from his position at the local supermarket. The manager's complexion drained of color upon discovering the true identity of the man he had let go. Years of habit guided Harold Thompson, a spry 89-year-old black man, through the familiar aisles of his local supermarket. The store used to be a haven, a place where he connected with friendly faces. However, a new manager and unfamiliar staff cast a chill over the atmosphere. Matt, the ambitious young manager, eyed Harold with impatience. The slow but deliberate way Harold selected groceries grated on him. Holding up the line, Matt fumed silently. Efficiency, his new mantra. Unconscious biases fueled his irritation. At the checkout, a flustered cashier faced Harold as he meticulously counted his money, his hands betraying a tremor with age. Matt, observing from afar, swooped in. Sir, pick up the pace, Matt snapped, his voice devoid of warmth. Harold met his gaze, eyes weary but firm. I'm doing my best, he replied gently, his voice unwavering. The growing line and the cashier's smirk pushed Matt over the edge. You need to leave, he barked, the message laced with prejudice. It wasn't Harold's slowness that bothered Matt, but his age and race. The words stung. Shamefaced, Harold surrendered his groceries and left, the weight of judgment a heavy cloak. A place of warmth had turned cold and isolating. The next day, Harold returned, not to shop, but to make a wordless stand. He walked the aisles, a silent rebuke against the mistreatment. Matt, spotting him, felt a flicker of confusion morph into simmering anger. Why is he back here, he thought, his bewilderment giving way to resentment. Harold's daily visits became a thorn in Matt's side. The old man's quiet defiance fueled Matt's simmering rage. One night, reviewing security footage, Matt spotted Harold browsing the aisles after hours. How? He fumed, convinced Harold had a key from the old management. Determined to stop it, Matt raced to the store. Despite Harold's calmness, Matt exploded. Leave! This store is closed! His voice boomed through the emptiness. Harold, unfazed, simply nodded and left. But the next night, he returned. This time, Matt, at his wit's end, called the police. When the officers arrived, they ushered Harold out, much to Matt's satisfaction. As they left, Harold offered a cryptic smile. Wait till you learn who I am, he said. At the station, Harold's composure remained a stark contrast to Matt's growing unease. The officers greeted Harold warmly, shaking his hand with respect. Matt's confusion deepened. Why the respect, he thought. Finally, an officer addressed Matt. You don't recognize him, do you? This is Harold Thompson, our former police captain. A legend. Everyone respects him. Matt's face drained of color. The man he'd harassed was a revered local hero. Harold, sensing Matt's understanding, gestured for him to sit. Harold explained, The confusion is fair. I came to see how our community was treated. News of the incident, fueled by a viral TikTok video, exploded. The community rallied behind Harold, a symbol of unwavering dignity against prejudice. The video showcased the former police captain standing tall, a beacon of resilience. The supermarket faced swift backlash. The appalled owner fired Matt and the staff involved, followed by a public apology. He rehired the old team with raises, a token of appreciation for their professionalism. New diversity training became mandatory, ensuring respect for all customers. The once-tainted store transformed. Harold's stand exposed racism, but it also ignited a change movement. Inspired by his strength, the community united. No one else would face such bias. Harold, a pillar of the community, emerged stronger. He knew the fight against prejudice was a marathon, not a sprint. He was unwavering, forever ready to stand against injustice. The unfolding events had caught Matt, the junior manager, off guard. Discovering Harold's esteemed standing in the community and his concealed identity rattled him profoundly. The community's vehement reaction and the ensuing public outcry prompted a profound introspection of Matt's conduct and mindset. The diversity and inclusion training introduced by the business owner further enlightened Matt on these crucial workplace values. In the months that ensued, Matt dedicated himself to mending his image and regaining the confidence of his peers and patrons. His initial steps involved reconciling with veteran employees, absorbing their knowledge and sagacity. Engaging in the newly established training sessions, 
Matt gained insights into the significance of compassion and regard in leadership. Harold, monitoring Matt's progress from afar, recognized his authentic willingness to transform. Opting to intervene, Harold extended his mentorship to Matt. Their frequent interactions, during which Harold recounted his experiences as a police captain, underscored the principles of justice, honesty, and civic duty. These dialogues proved to be pivotal for Matt, fostering his personal and professional development. As Matt's awareness of his team's aspirations and worries heightened, a notable enhancement in the supermarket's ambiance ensued. The establishment began to thrive anew, marked not only by a surge in sales, but also by the nurturing atmosphere it cultivated. Patrons took note of the change and returned, reassured of receiving considerate and gracious service. Twelve months subsequent to the pivotal incident, the proprietor of the supermarket orchestrated a communal celebration to honor the substantial improvements instituted. Harold was accorded the distinction of being the ceremonial focal point, with the gathering drawing numerous community members, inclusive of the local constabulary who esteemed Harold as an icon. Amidst the festivities, the proprietor extended a public commendation to Harold for his influential part in the supermarket's metamorphosis and conferred upon him a token of recognition. In his eloquent address, Harold expounded on the virtues of tenacity and communal solidarity. He lauded Matt for his transformative journey and underscored that the essence of leadership is rooted in modesty and an openness to learning. His oration concluded to resounding applause, a reflection of Harold's profound influence on the community. This event signified a renaissance for both the supermarket and Matt. Under the tutelage of Harold and bolstered by communal support, Matt evolved into a leader of empathy and efficacy. The supermarket emerged as a paragon of inclusivity and esteem, a sanctuary where all individuals were cherished and embraced. Harold's narrative continued to resonate and motivate, extending its reach beyond the local sphere. His deeds demonstrated that positive shifts are attainable amidst adversity, and his enduring legacy is characterized by valor, honor, and an indomitable conviction in advocating for justice. Consequently, the supermarket flourished, emblematic of aspiration and solidarity to all who crossed its threshold. This tale imparts the profound ramifications of dignified and respectful treatment of all persons, irrespective of age or ethnicity. Harold's composed and honorable reaction to prejudice not only unveiled ingrained prejudices, but also ignited a wave of progressive transformation within his community. His conduct serves as a reminder that confronting inequity, even in silence, can precipitate meaningful and favorable developments. The salience of diversity, inclusivity, and the strength derived from community backing stand out as central lessons gleaned from this narrative. This story encourages us to examine our own behaviors and attitudes. How do we treat people who seem different from us? Are we ready to confront and change our biases? Have you ever witnessed or experienced discrimination? How did you respond? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below.